Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Today, we brought you the 0308 from Zero Tolerance. Zero Tolerance, if you'll remember, is made by Kai, and it's an American-made product. Now, here we go. Kai makes Kershaw. Here we go. The famous grapefruit test. couple quick slashes. That uh, skin, or whatever you call that, on... The grapefruit's very thick, and so it, it, it's thick. Look how it just blows right through there. CPM 20 CV steel, um, quality made. It's a frame lock. Now, the only knock I would have on the knife, and it's not really a knock, is the two-tone. I would have preferred the tan all the way through it. It is what it is. The knife is working very well here, really good. This is a knife that... If I was down to having to have one knife, and they gave me this knife, it would not hurt my feelings. It's 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 quickly sharpened. Now I have put this thing through the test. So let him stab bottle scab. Watching Donnie B all day's videos. Look at that. Look at that. Wham! Stab you again. I'd stab you 37 times. That'd be the fear of fighting old scab. Cause you know if I cut something 26 times, I'd be out here all day stabbing you, son. And here it is. It just glides through. This is this blade. I don't know the thickness of it because it's kind of a distal taper from the start. It's, it's an unusual blade. I'll show you the back of it in a minute, but here's a new test. I call it the zip tie pain in my ass test. Stick the blade under it, quick twist, cuts it right off of there. Now, it would have helped if I wasn't tied them as tight as I could to the pole. But, you know, new test, you live and you learn. It snaps them right off of there. And, and, of course, I had to do about a hundred of them. I, I don't know why I can't just do something three or four times to give you the general feel of it. But just know this. If you run across a zip tie in this situation, it's through dealing, son. Now, we're going to get some slicing in. Y'all know Scabber's going to slice it. Show you my feather sticking prowess. Look at that. I should have just went ahead and started the fire right there, son. Went ahead and showed you some bushcrafting. But I thought, you know what, I'll leave that to the bushcrafters. Uh... When we do our big camp out this, this fall, which I'm excited for, we'll be doing some bushcrafting, son. You won't believe the amount of bushcrafting that gets done. I won't either, because I'll probably be at the Holiday Inn. But look at there. Look at them feather sticks. This knife right here is good in hand. And I will say that. It's a big, about a four and a half inch handle. Super comfortable. Uh, it's got a nice curve to it. Y'all know I'm going to show you the knife 400 times so you can see what I'm saying. The ergonomics of the handle is very nice. It chopped pretty good. This is some of that old swamp cedar. So it is, and it's dried out. So it is a little rougher, a little tougher. But it did a good job on it. There it is. See that handle? See how it's curved there? Man, I love that. I love that. Now, Y'all see that little opening in the knife? That is not a lock or a locking mechanism. That's just part of the general. So thank you, Scab. Thank you for showing it off so sexily there. Look at those hand moves. Like I was a martial artist or something. Now watch this. Back to the, the hole. I think that's simply aesthetics in the knife. It, it's not a locking mechanism. It's none of that. Like I said, it's a frame lock. And uh, let's do the old apple test. All right, this has become a favorite, mainly because I like eating apples. But you see how I'm cutting them there? Not one slice that I cut was broken. You know, if, if the slice breaks, it means the blade's too thick. That didn't happen. Just glided right through there each time. And it really handled well. Again, I cannot speak highly enough of the comfort of this blade now. Uh, Captain Electro, Eric Hussein, um... Backyard Samurai and Rear Guy Ben all did a thing on Medford's. They had a thing going. I said, Man, I want me a Medford. So, y'all probably cost me a big argument there. But, two, I said, I need to show me a big folder. So, it's not a Medford, but it's a good size American made folder. Um, and it just glides right through this thing. I did you show you a little. Um, Comparison to the Rajah too. The Rajah is huge, man. But you, but you'll notice that zero tolerance didn't back down a lick like it was going to fight it, son. I was like, hmm, this may get dangerous. Have a knife fight between the knife. That'd be rough, son. I'd have to watch out and make sure it don't get cut. Now, I did a zip tie test here. 
And I told y'all, I'm leaving leaving the stuff I don't like in with the good, the stuff that maybe ain't so good. I tried to press cut this, and I'm thinking that might be more operator action than this. Um, but now by this time, by this time, I'd done probably quadruple the testing that I've showed. Now, a little fat hands there trying to hold it. Eventually it cut through it, and, and, and I honed up the blade real quick. So now I'm going to turn it over to Scab and let me give you some thoughts on what I think about it. Well, my friends, there you have it. 0308 from Zero Tolerance. Do I recommend a knife? Absolutely. Did just some quick tests there. You seen there at the end with the zip tie, it struggled a little bit. But what's not seen is the 400 times that we've gone through and practiced and done all that stuff. Blades held up incredibly well. And I would say that this is a good companion knife. This, if you're stuck and you got one knife and it's a folder, would I carry it? Absolutely. CPM 20 uh, CV. Now, the two-tone am I a fan? Not really. I wish the thing was this all the way through because I love that tan. I just, I love that look. I love the feel. It's a big knife. I showed you a couple examples. Uh, well, I showed you an example compared against the, the, the Raj Two, and I showed you against the Zero 0200 and I still got to find my 0303 which is pretty close pretty equivalent um, cuts this stuff pretty good just some actually I actually bought two extra pairs I was never in the military I don't ever try to portray that I, I wore camouflage since I was 12 years old I love playing in the woods and messing around playing with knives so I cut the pants legs off because in Florida sun you got to have you some short pants would I recommend a knife again absolutely listen it the price point's a little expensive I think my boy Jimbo went ahead and bought one but this is the kind of knife you take care of you take care of it it'll take care of you now I've watched Rear Guy I watched Eric I watched Backyard Samurai I watched Captain Electro they got me bit on them Medfords they've done a great job and so I thought I want to do a big folder. That's why I broke this one out and asked Kirk if I could use this one. Now, 22 veterans a day commit suicide. I mentioned the, young, the fellow this week that passed. I don't know what we can do, but I know we're going to do something. Uh, coming up tomorrow in a video, I'll give you the details of the raffle. I showed you all the knife holder that we're going to raffle off. I want to do a raffle because we can raise more money. It's, it's more fair. To everybody and I think we can probably double what somebody would have bid so we're gonna do that it's gonna be very easy um, there's a website called random org where when we do the drawing we'll we'll go live from here on Instagram or here wherever and you just enter say we sell 200 tickets you enter the number into random org and it picks a random number for you and that's how we'll do that so there's that. Remember our Leos, they face an uphill battle as we get closer to November. You know that battle's going to increase. Let's support them in a lot of ways. Let's support them by obeying the law. And let's support them in our thoughts. If you see one out, give them some support to my addicts. If you need help, if you need somebody to talk to, if you need an ear, let us know. I seen the thing I shared a post today that I found. I think Danny Nettles had shared it and I, should, I stole it from him. Uh, but it said, I, if you're thinking about committing suicide, I'd rather hear your story than visit your funeral. That's the truth. So, listen, I love y'all. God bless y'all. Keep your head up. Keep in the fight. We're coming back to you soon. I'm struggling. I'm just rambling on. I'm scabbed. You're not. I love y'all. We gone.